this is the urinary bladder of a 65 years old male with a history of uh, inadequate evacuation, retention of routine a urine. This is the procedure of the urinary bladder. This is the urinary bladder in transfer section. And here we do see a small out poaching from the posterior wall. This is the urinary bladder and this is a small out poaching that is the diverticula at the posterior wall where this being the opening of the diverticula with the urinary bladder. No debris, no calculus uh, is seen in this <coughs> diverticula. So this is a diverticula. You can see that the posterior wall is thick, uh, the hypertrophic trabeculation are seen. This is the posterior wall of the urinary bladder, and this is the, these are the hypertrophic trabeculation. Now, see the prostate. This is the prostate in longitudinal section, in which uh, it, is, it gives you a homo inhomogeneous appearance. appearance this, uh, this is the enlarged median lobe of the prostate. This is the main, uh, of the main gland of the prostate. And you can see a small, uh, ill-defined, echogenic focal area. And you can see many other, a few other. And so the prostate, prostatic, uh, Substance shows inhomogeneous appearance with a few ill defined hypopoic as well as echogenic coprogenic heterogeneous appearance. This is the catheter pearl, patient is catheterized, and this is the uterus in longitudinal section. And this is the uh, sorry, this is the uh, prostate in the uh, longitudinal section. Now this is the same prostate but in transfer section. See, this is the transfer section. Now this is the median lobe of the uh, prostate which is indenting into the urinary bladder. This is the median lobe of the urinary bladder indenting into the urinary bladder by approximately. 12, 12, uh, sorry, 12 uh, millimeters. This is the prostate. This is the prostate in transfer section. And this is the prostate in longitudinal section. This is the urinary barrel. This one. This is the diverticulum that we were talking about. Now, if, if we measure the prostate, measure 61 uh, grams with the 12 mm uh, enlarged median lobe of the prostate in ending into the, uh, in ending into the posterior wall of the urinary bladder. So the prostate is enlarged as well as uh, the uh, median lobe of the prostate is enlarged and we see a diverticulum uh, as well. This is the right kidney and you can see that the kidney shows parenchymal changes. This right kidney shows parenchymal changes. The cortico metallary differentiation is muffled. This is the cortex. This is the parenchyma in fact. Now this is the cortex. Uh, this is the medulla. So cortico differentiation is 
not that bad. Bandy muffin. So the kidney my is 8.0 into 3.0 centimeters normal in size. And uh, the muffle, note the muffle central sign is echo complex. So no calculus in properly and C uh, in this uh, case. Now this is the left kidney. And you can see there is muffling of the corticomedullary differentiation. The size uh, is 6.1 by 2.8 cm. And this kidney is relatively small in size. No other finding is seen relating to the kidney. This is a supreme figure. And, uh, this is the IVC, this is the aorta, once again the procedure, this is the urinary bladder, this is the catheter pulp, this is the prostate and uh, this is the enlarged median of this one and ending into the urinary bladder. The bladder of the sphere wall is uh, showing hypertrophic trabecularly and this is the diverticulum, this area, diverticulum. This is the diverticulum and this is the urinary bladder. So this is the case of the day, thank you very much.